Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I will be discussing the form component control, which system administrators can use to configure lookup fields on a form. The functionality here is very similar to a quick view form where we can expose data from a record that is populated in a lookup field. So why would you use a form component control instead of the quick view form? Well, because when you use a quick view form, the data that is showing is read only, but with the form component control, the data is actually going to be editable. Are you curious yet? If so, let's go ahead and dive right in. So I wanted to start by showing you both what the quick view form looks like and what the form component control looks like, right? When you put those on a form. So you can see here on the left hand side, I have a quick view form. We're looking at the primary contact and on my quick view form, I have the email address and the business phone number. So if I would select a different primary contact here, which I'm not going to do, well, I could, right? It's now showing me details of that particular person who is selected for the primary contact. Let's put Angel back in here. So that's the quick view form. But you can see here that I can't really edit any of those details, right? Because it's read only. Now, when we're using a form component control, you can see here I have some fields on there, but the difference here is that I actually do have the ability, let me just make him a SR manager. I do have the ability to edit those fields, right? And now if I go to the primary contact, if I open up that record, you will see that we actually updated that job title that you saw me update earlier. Okay. So now that we kind of understand the difference here, let's take a look and see how both of these, both of the quick view form and the form component control is configured. So I just navigated to make.powerapps.com. And then of course you want to make sure that you are in the correct environment. And if you're not, make sure you change that to the correct environment. Then you're going to click here on data and then you're going to click on tables. So let's take a look at that configuration, which was on the account table. So I'm going to open that up. And then I'm going to search for these forms and it's my executive form. So you just click on that and that will then open up that particular form. So you can see, I already have it open, right? So the quick view form, right? Very easy. We already have that here. This is where we can update this, right? What is the lookup field that uh, we want to show data of? And then once we select that lookup, then we can pick any of those quick view forms that are in the system. And if you kind of go back here, right, we have forms here and you can kind of see here, some of them are quick view forms. Some of them are card forms, but then we also have some main forms on here as well. So for this particular piece, this quick view form, you obviously need to first create a quick view form and then you can put that on any of those parent records, right? Where you're showing that data. In this case, uh, we have here a contact quick view form that's looking at this primary contact lookup. So that's the quick view form, but that's not really uh, what this video is about. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to delete all of this from my form and then I'm kind of going to rebuild that form so you can see how I did that. So let me just first do that. I'm just going to go here to my executive form. I'm going to say, I'm going to get rid of that. And let's also get rid of that primary contact field. We'll just put it back later. I'm going to save that. 
and then I'm going to publish that. There we go. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a form for the contact table because you saw earlier right that when we are creating or when we want to put a quick view form on there we need to have a form right a quick view form to actually link to that lookup which we have i just basically selected an existing quick view form so the same thing goes for here the difference though is that i'm not using a quick view form here I'm actually using a main form for that. So for the form component control, we have to use main forms. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go back here to Power Apps. I'm gonna to go to Tables, and I wanna show information of a contact on here. So I'm gonna to go to my contact table over here. And then obviously you can just say Add Form, and again, this has to be a main form, right? So if you click here on main form, that's gonna load here. And here we are. So what we can do now is we can clean up a little bit of this, right? Because again, this is gonna be the form that I'm gonna use on that account form, kind of functioning as that quick view form, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of some of these tabs here. I don't need that. I don't need details. Let's get rid of that as well. And then I'm going to get rid of that and that. And then we're back to our summary. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to format the to a one column here. Wow, that really cleans up. And then I'm going to get rid of the account name. I don't care about that. And then I'm going to get rid of whatever this is. This is a hidden last name field, so we don't need that. Oh, we do need that. So let's just uh, hide that. There we go. And then let's get rid of the fax preferred method of contact. And I don't need the address information. Let's get rid of that as well. I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't need and here we go and that's it that's all that I'm going to put on there again of course you can configure this however you want but I just want to keep this very very simple so from here again you can just go ahead and save that and then you can publish that now make sure that you give your phone your form a name so that other people kind of know what it means right words used for so what I did I actually called my form my main quick view form all right so once you're done with that I'm now gonna go back to my executive form over here and unfortunately I cannot configure this form component control over here so i'm going to go ahead and switch to classic so you can just go ahead and click on that and then we can go here to the account form in the classic form designer so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to find my primary contact field here which is down below here is my primary context field and i'm actually going to drag it on there twice and i'll show you later why that is so i'm going to go ahead and put it below here so this is my regular lookup field that i want to show on the form so i can change the value in there and this second field is where i'm going to put that form control on here so I'm even going to rename this so that other know other people that would look at this will know what this is. So let me just go ahead and change the name here to primary contact form components control. And I do not want to show the label on the form, not that it matters because you won't see it anyways. All right, so once we've done that, what we need to do is we need to actually go here to controls and then you're going to click on 
adds control. And then obviously this is where we're looking for that control. Let me see here. Here's my form component control. I'm going to click add. And then I want this obviously on the web, but you can also enable this for phone and tablet. And you can see here that it already knows the lookup value, right, of that field. This is the system name of that primary contact field, which is the primary contact ID. That's the system name. So now we need to tie it to a form. So when you click on this, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bind this to a static value. And then you can't really change this. So you're just going to leave it like that. And what we're going to do here is we're going to enter some XML, an XML entry in here. So this is what we're going to enter in that field. And you can see here, let me actually zoom in a little bit little bit quick forms quick forms quick form ids quick form id entity name table name form id and then again right some of that terminology again so what we need to do is we need to replace everything that's red so table name that is going to be the context table right and if you want to know how i found out that that's the contact table if i actually go back here to power apps sure let's go back here to my tables Right, if you look here, just gonna give this a second here. If you look here at tables, this is where you will see the actual system name, right? So in our case, that is contact. So that's what we're gonna put in for table name. So that's contact. And then we also need the form ID, right? This is the form ID of that new form that we just created. So again, let me go back here. I'm going to go back to my main quick view form that we just created. And the ID that we're looking for is right after this area that says edit, right? So this is my unique ID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I don't want to, I just wanted to copy that. I didn't want to cut it, but whatever, it's fine. So for form ID, that's where we're going to put that unique ID. All right, so now that we have that, I can just go ahead and copy that. And I can go back here to my account. And I'm going to copy that right in here. All right, let's just make sure this is correct. This is contact, and then we have that form ID as well. You're going to go ahead and say OK. And again, you're going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go ahead and publish that. OK, so there is still one step that I need to do, um, but I'm first going to show you what this looks like because then you will probably know what I need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh my screen here and I'm going to click here on my primary contact tab. And here again, we have our quick view form, but look at that in my form component control, it's not loading that form that I selected, right? It looks like it's loading a full, uh, full fledged form here, which I don't want. So the reason that it's doing that is that I still need to give the app access to my form. So you can see here I'm in the sales hub. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on my sales hub. I'm going to click on open in app designer. And I'm going to go and look for the contact table. Here we go. And the form that I want to give the app access to is here my main quick view form. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and publish. And now I'm going to refresh my page again. Let's see if I need to do a hard refresh. And there you go. You just saw that now that I added that form to the actual 
app that it's now showing exactly the way I wanted to show. And you also see now the reason why I added uh, the additional primary contact field, right? Because the second one was configured with that form component control. And you can see that that's basically replacing that lookup field with that form. So that's why you have to add that secondary uh, lookup field on there. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.